if you don't mind, I'm just well, curious. Oh yeah, take a look. yeah not I don't a problem. Mean to be like, Show what you got. <laughs> we have a YouTube channel, so we like, we awesome. basically, I was in the middle of filming some of the some stuff that YouTube. we found. <laughs> wow, this, this is like time traveling. I know, it really is. So. You know, you're, this, is a, this is a real big deal, man. You're finding pieces of history. <laughs> oh yeah, man. You never know what you find. So I know this sounds crazy, but giants, there's evidence of giants all over America. You gonna stick around? The cops are gonna be coming for the- Oh, thanks. Yeah, man. I'm out of here for the cops come. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today, I'm over by the bridge where if you remember in the last episode when I was here, I was with my friend Jeremy and I was able to find two shotguns here and a bunch of other crazy stuff. We found like phones from where the tubers actually tube on the river here. And we found just a plethora of river treasure. The one thing that I wanna find today is a gun. If I do find a gun, that would be amazing because I found several at the spot before. And it's been really good because we've been able to get serial numbers off of those guns them to the police and potentially they can use those to help with any investigations that they may have all right so i'm also here with johnny today what do you think we're gonna find man always looking for garbage but you know not with you guys i'm looking for the weapons so i'll be out there <laughs> looking for the weapons looking for any type of garbage and who knows there's a lot of boats out here so we might get some cell phones or stuff like that as you can see the river behind me today is super clear the water is pretty warm actually today it's gonna be in the 70s, so I'm wearing my four mil wetsuit. I'm so excited. It's been raining for two weeks, so it's just been super murky, but today is a perfect day for diving. Oh, a baseball bat. How did someone get an engine in here? You see it's leaking, look, all the bubbles coming out. Oh my God. <laughs> What the heck? Oh, it's a little paddle. 3 m tape measure. Like a shot. Looks like a car. That's pretty cool. What the heck is that? Oh, super old hammer. Oh, oh my gosh! Look at this. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Oh, man. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Goodbye, buddy. That's an old horse here right there. Man. Yeah, that. 
Nothing crazy, man. Shh. It's super old. That is very old. And then if we knock off some of these rocks, I think there might be a serial number, but you never know. It does look like a pretty old gun. That does. That looks like something James Bond and <laughs> Right? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. We got two guns. And we might be able to get serial numbers off of one. We'll have to see. If we can, then we're definitely going to call the cops. I have no clue. I have no idea. But... We definitely do want to be safe with this. Um, and we're going to let them check it out. I don't know if it's... I mean, what the heck it is. We're going to have to, you know, see what they say, but... Let's get everything that we, else that we found, go up to the truck and get them to take a look at it down here. Let's keep it over the side, though. Because last time we found one, they told us to keep it over in the water, away from everything. So, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. Hi there, my name is Britton, and my buddy uh, and I were, we were basically scuba diving in the river underneath this bridge. And I'll tell you exactly where we're at, but we came across two firearms. Okay, what's um, the cross street or the parking lot address? I don't know if that's Okay, here, let me, let me see real quick. Sure. All right, one second. I can take a second. You can tell? Yeah. The address. Yeah, he, Johnny's got it right now. Okay. It, As you can see, they're gonna come from that entrance point and come all the way to the back. Johnny told him everything about, you know, his description and stuff like that. All right, everybody. So we were able to come across some really cool things today out in the river. I was scuba diving with my buddy Johnny and came across two guns and a couple other cool things. Let's see what I found today. So I was able to find this really cool like pickaxe hammer thing. I'm not really sure what it is. Still has part of the wood handle on it, as you can see. And this thing is pretty rusted up, so it's been used a lot. That was a, that was definitely a really cool find. Um, I also got two pairs of sunglasses, and I'm not really sure if they're designer brands or not, but they probably can clean up and be worn. Who knows? I got a key and a piece of lead right here. And another one of the interesting finds, I found a horseshoe. And as you can see, it's super rusted up, super old horseshoe. And for the last find, we got a 30 foot tape measure, so. So it was a great day of treasure hunting out on the river, but I made two really cool finds that I think were my best of today. Check this out, guys. I found this gun right here. It looks to be either a shotgun or a possibly a bolt action rifle of some sort. I'm not really sure. Johnny, do you have any ideas? It, I'm thinking maybe a 12 gauge or 20 gauge. 12 gauge or 20 gauge. So this thing is pretty cool. We can already see some serial numbers out down at the bottom. We did some scraping off of this. And as you can see, you can still see the trigger and a little bit of the numerals on it. So that's gonna be really cool to turn into the police. Also found this P90 pistol, what I believe to be a P90. I'm not really sure. It does have a wood handle on it and it's pretty rusted up. And that was one of the best finds I think I've ever made. It's really cool and possibly they could let me keep it. You never know. So Johnny was able to make some really cool finds today. He got this tab bottle, which looks pretty old. I'm not really sure. It does have a bunch of stars on it and it definitely is a cool bottle. He also got some of these lead weights, and I'm not really too sure what these are, but this top one right here has Lee written on it. If you guys have any ideas about these, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. He found a piece of a computer and also a cell phone. So. What do you, hey, man. What do y'all, I'm just well, curious. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah not I don't a problem. mean to be like, what do y'all got? <laughs> yeah, I just found two guns so today, so. Guns. That's where we're at. We find them all. Yeah, we found uh, a bunch of like little weights. We got like a bottle. So, so look at this. You... We got two guns. Wait, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. This, this is like time traveling. I know. It really is. So. Look, look at this gun. Look at that thing. Would it... Can I touch it? Yeah, not a problem. Oh, yeah, it's falling apart a little bit. Look at that. 
that? This is amazing. <laughs> so you guys, you just go around the rivers? And yeah, we go around the rivers and just like really pick up trash or anything that right. we find. And if we've come across you know, guns or anything like that, we turn them into the police. And You know, I've thought about that. Just yeah. seeing if I could join some type of group that just cleans up these rivers. Yeah, it's There's so, so dirty. Trash. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And it's so beautiful, a river, really a stream, is. and then you see a big old pile of trash it's, all, it's just it's, awful it's all plastic it's it like, is it's a lot and like metal it makes and me think all these plastic products we use you know yeah it, i oh, mean it's amazing how much garbage we throw out it, yeah well just how much garbage we produce yeah, in general hard. it really is yeah so i know this sounds crazy but giants there's evidence of giants all over america and when people find stuff like that you know if they hand it over to authorities that's the last you ever hear exactly from, you know what i'm saying exactly so you're this is a this is a real big deal, man. You're finding pieces of history. <laughs> oh yeah, man. You never know what you'll find. You gonna stick around? The cops are gonna be coming for the. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. yeah. I love cops, but I. Yeah. I know we need cops. Oh yeah. I, I, I like. <laughs> That's the truth, I'm man. I'm gonna check these pages out. Yeah, seriously, it was great meeting you. Nice to meet you guys, man. <laughs> yes, sir, man. I'm out of here for the cops come. How's it going, officer? Oh, both your Doing well. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. There's some firearms that we were able to discover in the water. Um, I've got one, which is right there. It looks like a P90. The other one has uh, serial numbers on it, that shotgun. So didn't know if you guys would want to. That was inside the river. Yes. Yes, sir. Both of them. Yeah, I took off the rust. I was, yeah, it was like pretty caked with rust, but. Okay. Are you a Luger? That's a Luger? Is a Luger or is a P38? Or a P38. Wow. Walter P38. But it seems to me that is a Luger. Wow. We're down in 30 seconds. That's pretty crazy. It's like a James Bond gun. Yeah, James right? Bond gun or something. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, James Bond used a Walter as well. That is a German. Uh, really? Yeah. But that is a pre World War II. Wow. I really don't believe because those things, they are really very old. That you're gonna need that you feel any paperwork about that. Yeah. But in the last case scenario, let me get uh, at least one of you guys information, please. Uh, is it okay if we remain anonymous when turning in these firearms just because, okay. So if you guys, you are, you are not obliged to do so. If you guys want to be anonymous, okay. Right there. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. You yes, guys sir. need anything else? Uh, I think that's going to be it. Okay. I'm just going. All right. Oh, Thank good. you, sir. You have a good rest of your day. He's leaving. So that is about it. Once again, everybody, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the support. We just recently hit 185,000 subscribers, and I couldn't be more excited about hitting that goal with you guys. We're going to be having a giveaway at 200,000 subscribers, but today was a great dive. We found a bunch of cool items, got a lot of trash out of the river like we always do, and I also was able to find that shotgun, which it did have some serial numbers on it, so I was glad to turn that over to the police. The other pistol super old gun from World War II. I'm hoping that possibly I can get that back in the future, but who knows? Also, before I leave, don't forget to check out the merch website. I'm gonna have it linked in the description below, depthsofhistory.com. You guys have been just blowing it up and it's amazing to see all the support on there. So thank you guys so much for that. If you enjoyed the video though, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe if you're new. Subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode.